This video is sponsored by Skillshare. Hey Epic Crafters, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to turn this into this. Boba Fett helmet using only cardboard and paper. <laughs> Boba! Make the cacti puta! Open my abitu! Wokana! My attitude's me! Hey, I'm Raphael. I used to work in the movie industry as a professional steadicam operator until I discovered that I could make pretty much any of the movie props I'm so passionate about using cardboard only. But making movie props out of cardboard wasn't good enough. Not good enough! And so I wanted to make them as screen accurate as possible. But that was still not good enough. Not good enough! So I decided to create this YouTube channel where I show you how to make them step by step with templates so that you can make them yourself at home even if you're not a professional props maker like me. So if you are new here, subscribe, hit the bell notification so you don't miss my next crazy tutorial with cardboard. No, I'm serious, just do it. Do it. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make a very accurate Boba Fett helmet using only cardboard, paper, some glue, and a few easy tools. Of course, you'll find the complete list of everything I use in the description box below, as well as all the templates necessary for you to make it yourself at home. You can make it. But first, it's giveaway time, folks. Today, I'm gonna give away this Canoen lightsaber that I made out of cardboard, of course. So if you want to participate to the contest, I hit the code somewhere in this video. It pops up for like a split of a second. But if you manage to snag it, screenshot it and share it in your Instagram story, just don't forget to tag me. Now, let's dive right into the tutorial. Finally. The first thing to do is cutting out the templates to separate all the pieces from each other. Don't forget that you'll find all of them in the video's description. Then, using a regular glue stick, glue all of them on your pieces of cardboard. And cut them out with a precision knife. That's not a knife. That's a knife. Now you can remove the patterns if you want to. If you do remove the patterns, pay attention to transfer all numbers as they are essential for the following steps of this tutorial. They are. As well as indications when you need to. And do that for all the following pieces of this tutorial. Cut the pieces from the templates number one. Smash the corrugations with your fingers in every direction to make it more malleable. Hulk! Smash! And glue all the notches together. To glue all parts of this helmet, I used a 15 watt hot glue gun. But if you don't have one, you can use wet glue, wood glue, or any type of PVA glue. It will work pretty much the same way. And of course, do the same for the pieces number two, three, four, and five. You gotta do the exact same thing. <sighs> yeah. 
glue the piece number two in the front edge of the piece number one here. And glue the piece number three, four and five next to it following the number order. Have something that looks like that. What's next? Make another one exactly the same way but reverse the pieces. And glue both half together here, which will give you the top of the helmet. Question of the day What helmet from Star Wars would you like me to make next? Let me know in the comment section below. Cut this piece from the template number two. Smash it lightly with your fingers in the direction of the corrugations. And glue this side on the front edge of the helmet here, aligned with the middle here. and glue another one on the other side the same way. Oh, okay. Okay, I see what you're doing. Cut the pieces from the template number three. Smash lightly the number two in the direction of the corrugations to make it more malleable. And glue it on the back here and here. and cut and glue another one on the other side. Cut roughly a piece of cardboard like that and glue it underneath the two pieces here. Pay attention to leave the same spaces here and here. Then put the helmet on the Terminator head you made a while ago out of cardboard to do a shameless plug for your YouTube channel. I'm sorry, I just couldn't help myself. <laughs> Glue the piece number three on the back in the middle here and cut five pieces number four and glue them in the hole here that way. And glue the piece number five on the top over here. and fill the gaps here and here with small pieces of cardboard. Cut the pieces from the templates number 4. We are gonna use them to make the cheeks of the helmet. Smash the corrugations of the piece number 6 to make it curvy. To end up with something like that. And glue it over here. and glue the piece number seven here the same way. And of course do the same for the other side. Rosy cheeks. That's Cut the piece from the templates number six. Glue the piece number one here. With a small gap here and flush with this edge. Fold the pieces number two in the top middle here and glue it on top of the number one that way. Smash the bottom side of the piece number three with your fingers and glue it underneath here. Cut the pieces from the template number seven, glue the piece number one here the same way you did for the other side. Glue the piece number two on the bottom and glue the piece number three on its edge in the middle here. 
view the piece number four on the right here and the piece number five on the left. Take things one step at a time. Next, fold the piece number six to make a U shape and glue it here. Don't forget that all the templates that you need to make this helmet yourself at home are in the description box below, as well as the tools and products that I use. You said that already! Cut the pieces from the templates number 8, glue the piece number 1 on the top in the middle here, and remove a little bit of cardboard to make room for the magnets. By the way, don't forget that you'll find all tools and products that I use, as well as these magnets, in the description box below this video. I just did it again. Glue the piece number two around it that way. Cut the piece number three. And glue another magnet in the hole here. Don't hesitate to add some glue on the edges of it here to make it sturdier. That's gonna be the mechanism of the wrench finder. Smash the edges of the piece number four with your fingers to make it more curvy. And glue it on top of it here. But pay attention not to put glue on the mechanism. Glue the piece number five underneath here. Smash slightly this edge. Smash, smash, smash. I to have something that looks like this. Next, glue these four pieces on top of each other, flush with this edge. And glue it on the top here. Next, make the dent of the helmet here by making several cuts with your precision knife that way. And fold slightly the corners with your fingers toward the inside that way. Make two more holes here in the shape of a triangle. And glue a small piece of cardboard behind it that way. Cut a very small circle of cardboard like that and glue it over here. Next, cut an opening on the back over here and make it wider with a small tool like that. And make another smaller one over here. And of course, do the same for the other side. In the next steps of this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to smooth out the entire surface of your helmet. Now, many of you are probably thinking like, this guy is making a living, making cool cardboard stuff on YouTube. How cool is that, isn't it? That's real funny, I have a job. Well, it's not that simple actually, but you get the point. And I also know that many of you are artists as well. If you're good at drawing, painting, or you know how to sculpt different material, or I don't know, you know how to make props out of matches, well, then you are an artist, at least as much as I am. And three years ago, I didn't know a thing about making props out of cardboard. So what if you could make a living from your hobby and quit your day-to-day -day job as I did three years ago? Well, I want to let you know that there is a great class to learn how to do exactly that on Skillshare. In this course by Brooke Glazer, you're gonna learn everything you need to know to start a business from scratch or when you're patient. It is designed for creative people like you and me, not for businessmen. So if you don't know a thing about creating a business, this is for you. I've been through the entire course and even I have learned so much things from your class that are going to help me with this channel. How to find clients, a different way to make money, how to price your work and so on. She's a great guy, seriously. If you're considering it, you should check that out. Or term than that, Skillshare is a huge online learning community full of inspiring classes for creative people like us. It offers countless hours of educational content on painting, illustration design, photography, video editing, productivity, lifestyle, you name it, they have a course for that. 
So if you'd like to support me and this channel and you'd like to give it a try, the first thousand people who use the link in my description will receive a one month free trial to Skillshare Premium so you can explore your creativity. Just follow the first link right there in the description below. Then I applied a thin layer of a modeling pad to hide better the imperfections of the cardboard, like the corrugations you can see here, here, or even here. To do so, I used regular spatulas, the same kind you use to make pastries. And to be honest, the process itself is pretty close to what you do when you're baking an actual cake, actually. Even white cake! And if you don't want to use that, just skip this step. I use it just to smooth out the surfaces a little bit more. But to be honest, you will end up with a very similar result without using it. Then what's the point? It's just that, you know me guys, I'm a little bit picky with my props. So if you want to stick to the cardboard and paper only, just skip to the next step at the timestamp right here, which is applying the paper. So the idea here is for you to smooth out as many as surfaces as you can. Next, remove all modeling past imperfections with sandpaper. The sandpaper dildo. To have a very smooth surface everywhere. That felt oh. really smooth. Next, make a mix of white glue and water. What the hell are you cooking? Then, tear pieces of a brown cardboard paper, the same kind you receive within your Amazon deliveries. and soak them in the mix of white glue and water. Remove the surplus of liquids with your fingers and apply them on the entire helmet. That way. to have at the end something that looks like this. Next, using very thin uncorrugated cardboard, like that, the same kind you get from Amazon for the small items, for instance, and cut this piece using the templates number five. Then color it entirely with a black marker, and glue the piece inside your helmet over here. Just dumb. I can't see a thing. Just wait. Next, using the reference pictures that you'll find with the templates in the description box below, draw the smaller details on your helmet. It's basically a child's drawing. Also, if you feel like you could use more extended visuals about the specific part that I might have shown a little bit too fast, I want to let you know that I also recorded the entire construction from start to finish and I made a very long timelapse video available for the members of the channel down in the description box below. Next, I applied two layers of a glossy varnish on the entire helmet.
then using a sharp tool make several holes at eye level for you to be able to see through the visor. These holes being very close to your eyes, you should be able to see through them pretty well. I can see! I can see! <laughs> I'm pretty happy with the result. So all you need to make this helmet yourself is this tutorial and the templates that you find in my shop in the description box below. But if you want to learn more about how to make Star Wars stuff out of your cardboard boxes like the Mandalorian armor, the Stormtrooper helmet or even the Death Star 2, That's not a moon. click this playlist right here, subscribe if you are not already and hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything. Now the code word to put in the comments to confuse everybody who didn't get this far into this video is Cut. Unlimited power!